This is the very much talked about Frontier Bivy, and in this video, I'm gonna answer probably our three most frequently asked questions about the Frontier, particularly focusing on the standard size. So first up, what we get asked an awful lot is just about the size of the bivvy. Does a flatliner bed chair fit in it? What's it sort of comparable to else that's out there on the market now? So I'm gonna run through the size of it now. So this is it on its absolute lowest setting. So this is as low as it goes. Um, I haven't got the storm poles attached. You get storm poles with the product and it's on the final pegging point so there's another pegging point as well which means when you've got the um, the storm poles attached and you go to that final pegging point you've probably got an extra 10 to 15 centimeters on top of this but I'd say that this is probably your stat the standard height of a 60 inch brolly sort of like an, an ultra brolly a super brolly that type of, of thing so the next thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is the headroom, because actually whilst this bit is very, very low, there's a lot of headroom inside. So I'm gonna pop in there and show you exactly how good the headroom is. It's a headroom, as you can see, I'm sat right back on my flat liner bed chair. So it's quite a tall bed chair as it is. I'm sat straight up, I'm five foot 10, so I'm not the biggest of blokes, but again, I'm not the smallest. And uh, yeah, not even the bubble on top of my hat is touching the ceiling. So if you're the type of guy that likes to sit up and watch out, you can do that absolutely fine. And like I said before, this is on its lowest setting. So you've got loads of headroom in the front here. So second question, how to set it up? First tip that I'd give everyone is to read the very extensive instruction booklet that we provide with the bivvies. Don't just chuck it away, give it a good read first because it gives you all of the instructions you need. But for those of you who have already burnt those instructions, this is how to do it. So I've got everything in this bag actually at the moment. It's got the Vapor Peak and everything else in at the moment. But the key thing is how to set up the actual bivvy. So we're gonna go start to finish on how to do it. So I'll take it out of the bag. We'll get the bag out of the way. Okay, so first thing you do is you just unfold it like so and start locating the keyed elbow joints together. There are five, so make sure you're counting in your head as you do it so that you don't miss any. And that's all five done. Now the next thing to do is fan out the arms. And if you press the block up against your chest, it gives you a little bit more leverage. Like so. Now it's for the front poles. So you go in the right hand one first, then the left, then the central one goes up with a click. And there you go, the bivvy is standing ready for you to peg it out add your storm poles if you want add your vapor peak proper simple okay so another tip for when setting up the frontier particularly with the larger models like the x and xd if you're a, if you're not a lot a, a big guy or a tall guy it can be difficult to get the sort of leverage when you're pulling the arms around so if you get a peg and peg down the central arm first so the pegging point on the center pole find that peg it into the ground nice and tightly then pick up the arms fan one side first then the next and you've brought them all towards you now you just need to do your two side front poles then your center pole and you're up into position. 
Okay, so next is the capacity of the bivvy. Now, lots of people have asked whether you can get a flat liner in there. Yes, absolutely you can. And people wanna know how much room they've got at the front of the bivvy to have your sort of standard session things like your bivvy table and your carryall and stuff. So it's kind of hard for you to see exactly what I've got inside there, but I'm all set up for a session. So I'll take the bivvy away now and you can see exactly what I've got in there and the kind of space that you've got available to you. Okay, so this is it, obviously, big old flat liner. If you don't have a flat liner, it's, pro it's akin to your sort of bigger, more luxurious bed chairs. It's not quite a king size, but it's a big standard size bed chair, obviously quite tall as well. I've got a carry-all to my right. That has literally got everything that I need in it for the session. I've got a large bivvy table to my left. This can have, it's got my phone on, got my tackle box. I've got underneath there an Aquas bag. There's also plenty of room for other, other stuff under there. Of course, nowadays, there's lots of luggage items that you can store under the bed chair as well. I've just got the bivvy bag um, with the vapor peak and stuff like that inside it as well. I've got a bucket to the left hand side. I've literally got everything that I need for, well, a 48 hour session now. And if I, need, if I needed more for a week long session, I'd have plenty of space in here as well. So that is the size of it. That's the capacity of it. I think people seem to think that it's maybe the size of like an easy shelter, one of those tiny pop-up bivvies, but it's really not. It's a proper size bivvy and you can get plenty of kit in it. The last thing that people have been asking is how to pack it away. It is effectively setting it up but in reverse. The only key part that's slightly different is around the front poles here. So rather than just pulling the central pole down, you have to give it a little bit of a push upwards, click the button in and that releases it down. And then you've got these two arms here and you wanna pull them towards each other and push them down like so. Then it's a simple case of fanning the uh, arms back all together, taking the, uh, them apart the, uh, at the joints and uh, yeah, putting it in your bag, simple as that.